Hey, good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 28th, 2018. So, hey, everyone, I want to apologize that there was no morning video yesterday. Uh, we had a um, really rough winter storm, um, actually a blizzard, and it's still kind of going on a little bit out there, a lot of blowing around. But I believe the snow has stopped and consequently uh, lost internet and was not able to uh, put one together for yesterday. So I do apologize for that. I know there's a lot of folks that kind of count on this video in the morning. So let's take a look what happened. Well, obviously a uh, uh, an ugly sell-off in the morning um, we sold off strongly and then in the afternoon we finally triggered what they call a short squeeze rally a lot of folks probably got themselves short there was a lot of traders that figured we were headed back down and um, in that process as you can see right here in that process there were probably a lot of folks that started picking up short positions this is a by the way a 15 minute chart started picking up those short positions um, yesterday as the selling uh, continued to occur and then all of a sudden we had strong buying coming in I'm guessing it was a institutional or institutional buy programs kind of picking up and that really forced some tremendous tremendous uh, uh, excuse me I'm on the wrong day here um, here we go um, that selling it picked up some tremendous um, selling uh, excuse me buying here um, squeezing out anybody that happened to get short so as they got short um, during the day down 600 and some points as they got short then the buyers come in squeezing those short positions out forcing them to cover and that actually extends the rally when that occurs so that short squeeze rally moving us up sharply on the day now what that does is creates a big move uh, within the day and can um, even show us a little follow through this morning. So right now this morning, we have finally for the first time in a while follow through of about a triple point gain this morning. But I want you to recognize the fact that that gain is going to push us directly into a major level of resistance. Now, with the, uh, with the massive volatility that we have seen of late, it would be unwise to think think that um, all of this volatility is just suddenly over and that the bulls are just going to continue to carry us higher without any kind of a pullback. So please keep in mind that this morning we could um, experience this gap up open and then see profit takers come in. Remember, we have an awful lot of resistance right in here on this chart. And also remember that we're uh, Congress has adjourned now for the holiday. Uh, for the end of the year, I should say, and um, nothing has changed. Our government is continuing to stay shut down and will likely be that, that way clear through the first of the year. So, um, gee, what could go wrong with that? Uh, how much volatility could we see as a result over the weekend and a holiday while that's going on? So kind of keep that in mind. Remember, if you happen to be holding this long, congratulations. Um, remember, the Dow is gained over 1400 points in just two days um, some profit taking after a morning gap going into a weekend and a holiday would not be out of the question so kind of keep in mind gaps or gifts when the market gaps in your favor you may want to consider taking some profits and also keep in mind that we could see some substantial selling the possibility of a big swing lower yet today is certainly possible as sellers um, offload that risk heading into the weekend you never know it could power on through to the upside as well but remember to take some profits don't let greed get in the way of putting some money in your account if you happen to be long good job by the way if you did uh, take that trade yesterday 
Let's take a look at the SPY real quickly. SPY moving up this morning, um, already testing a level of resistance at the close yesterday and now popping a little bit higher this morning. Um, that puts us into this open area right in here. And notice if I were to draw another line right here, we're gapping right into the top of that little resistance right there. So um, watch those resistance levels as we move up for the potential that profit takers could come into play. And also remember, a V bottom is, is very rare, um, almost never occurs. A true V bottom almost never occurs in the market. So what will typically happen is we will rally we could rest a little while and then we could see another test lower um, in the market. Remember, oh, we're still in a downtrend. Um, that has not changed. So kind of keep that in mind. If you're if you lucky enough to have some really nice profits here, uh, keep that in mind as we head into uh, the weekend. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues also nice rally. Um, strong rally um, in, in the last couple of days. And notice that we're running into this resistance zone in here, that place where we could see um, some sellers kind of come in and, and take over here. So watch that closely. Um, our futures have been slipping all morning. When I started writing the morning note, we were up almost 200 points in the futures. We're now currently only 90 points up in the futures as I'm recording this. So we could see uh, those futures um, already indicating some of that profit taking coming into play. So let's be really, really careful and, and kind of keep an eye on that. Um, so watch this area in here for that anywhere in here could be that potential resistance zone. If we do happen to continue to rally, this is a very strong resistance area here for the NASDAQ. So watch that close. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, nice rally here in the last couple of days. I'm going to go, flip over really quickly here to a um, moving average chart just to remind everyone that we are a long ways from our 50-day moving average. Uh, um, and keep in mind that really nothing has changed overall in this market. Um, we still have a federal government shutdown. We still have lots of political uncertainty. So the fact that we caught a nice rally, wonderful, but just keep in mind, there is a lot of work that needs to be done before we can uh, sound the all clear sign. Um, right here is a, a significant level of resistance in IWM. So you'll want to watch that as we approach that level for the place where those profit takers could come in. Um, let's take a look at the VIX. How sweet it is to see the VIX finally pulling back, but um, uh, certainly the volatility has not fallen out of this market when we can gain a thousand points. The largest gain in uh, one day gain in, in market history. Uh, and then follow that by a 600 point sell off and reversal to a, a bullish gain on the day. Just keep in mind that that volatility um, has not dropped out of the market. Extreme moves are still very possible. So we could certainly see this as this sets right in here on this little support level and it's a weak support level um, we could see this continue to trickle on down here if the market stays bullish but don't rule out the possibility that we could rally back up here toward these highs if we start seeing some of those sellers coming in in that intraday reversal down um, today so watch that let's take a look at the um, t2122 T2122 is that four week new high, new low um, ratio. And as you can see, we've come up off of this bottom, but we still are down here in that bullish reversal zone, which means that we still have that possibility of, of upside move here. It's hard to believe that we've moved 1,400 points and it's only created this much of a move in here, which tells me there's a lot of stocks that are still very, very oversold. Um, but that doesn't rule out the possibility of some profit taking heading into the weekend. So consider that we do have plenty of upside potential, but we've opened up a 1,400 point potential pullback as well. So 
watch that price action. Let's take a look at the economic calendar today. A couple things to pay attention to on this economic calendar. We have um, international trading goods coming out at 8.30. That obviously can move the market around. And then Chicago PMI pending home sales, natural gas, and the petroleum status report. All of those things have the potential of moving the market around a little bit today. So kind of keep an eye on that um, extreme volatility that we have and watch that close as these news reports uh, start rolling out today. Let's take a look. Whoops. Let's take a look at a couple of potential charts that you may want to uh, pay attention to. First off, um, GLUU. I really like GLUU, how we, we shut, push down, but boy, this has been a nice rally back up. And this resistance level up here, we sliced through that yesterday, moving up here nicely. Now, I wouldn't necessarily suggest this is just going to power on through. Maybe a little rest, a little consolidation in here before that has an opportunity to move higher. But this is a really nice response back and up here at these highs. So one to pay attention to um, as we go forward. One for the list for sure. Uh, KGC, KGC, a gold miner. As you can see, gold moving up strongly here, breaking through a significant level here of resistance. And now a little rest over here toward this trend could certainly set up more upside for KGC. Might be worth keeping an eye on that guy. Nice looking chart. And the next resistance level above, there certainly is some profits that could be made um, in that trade. ABX is another one. ABX is testing a major long-term downtrend and has held up quite well. And you can see that we're just rising lows here, putting pressure on that downtrend in this resistance area. If that pops on through, moves on higher than ABX is one to keep an eye on. And if you like taking or looking at intraday type charts, there's a lot of intraday type signals out there in the charts. Um, if we take a look at like Facebook, Facebook um, starting to rally up here. But if I go to like an hourly chart, notice we have a nice hour, hourly rally in play here. So if you're more of an intraday trader, you might want to look at some of those shorter term type charts. Last but not least, I want to bring up AVGO. AVGO um, moved up nicely after earnings here nice gap up nice and strong and if we take a look at this avgo has been rising lows here holding lows and breaking this downtrend right here and actually holding it as support now we do have another major downtrend resistance right above here but if this were to rest in here do a little consolidating do a little backing and filling in here we might want to watch avgo if the market does start to turn around for that opportunity to break that major level of resistance and move higher remember they moved uh, nicely on a good earnings report so kind of keep that in mind so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor click those subscribe buttons on youtube and facebook thank you so much for doing that also just a huge thank you out there to everyone who takes the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment you guys are awesome i truly Truly, truly appreciate that. Thank you so much for taking that moment to um, acknowledge the video and just simply, um, uh, it, it just simply helps those videos be shown to more people. So thank you so much for that. And um, please always feel free to share this video with any friends and family. Um, they're free to the public. I don't intend to make money on these videos. So please feel free to share them at, at any time. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic weekend. And if you're taking off for the New Year's Eve holiday, I want to wish you all a f happy, happy New Year. Be safe. Be careful. We'll see you right back here Monday morning, assuming I have internet. We'll see you right back here Monday morning. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome weekend. Take care now.